Marinara sauce is simply great. It's so versatile from all kinds of vegetarian pasta dishes to non-vegetarians, from baked spaghetti to a delicious crispy chicken parm. This is the best recipe which you need to have in your arsenal to make great Italian food at home. So let's get started. So first things first, the tomatoes. The kind of tomatoes you use is the most important part of a good marinara sauce. And because I'm not in Italy, the best tomatoes that I can find, which make for a great sauce, is in a can. And what's special about these tomatoes is these are San Marzano type tomatoes. If I had to describe San Marzano tomatoes in one line, is they are immensely sweet, which makes them really special because the quality of the ingredient is so good that you really don't have to do much to make the sauce. It just does half the work for you and all you're doing is putting two or three ingredients together with these sweet juicy tomatoes to make a great sauce. So just put all of these tomatoes with the juices in a blender or a food processor and all you want to do is give it three or four little taps, three or four pulses, just enough to slightly chop up those sweet tomatoes and really give that nice, beautiful, thick, chopped up texture. Now, let's heat up our pan on medium heat and what's essential, the most Italian cooking, add in your olive oil. Now, as essential as olive oil, next ingredient would be some garlic now you can add lesser garlic if you're not a huge fan of it but garlic is essential to the sauce unless of course you have dietary restrictions so add the garlic right in there and lightly toast that with some chili flakes and what that's going to do is going to add some heat to that olive oil and really scent our sauce don't worry at all, this is not an arrabbiata, this is not a super spicy sauce. That heat, the spice from the chili flakes and the garlic helps to balance out the sweetness provided by the San Marzano tomatoes. Now as soon as you can smell the rawness of the garlic cooking away, go ahead and add in all of those tomatoes. That is a great sight. Just look at how beautiful that looks. If your tomatoes start to splutter, your pan may be too hot, which is exactly what I'm showing you right now. So, two things you can do. Turn off the stove to get the temperature to come off, or just lower the heat and start mixing. As soon as you start mixing, the spluttering would stop, and just let that come up to a simmer. Now to help cook out the tomatoes, add in a pinch of salt. This should be to taste, so don't add too much at this point because we will be reducing the tomatoes a little bit. So the flavors will intensify as we cook the sauce. The great thing about this sauce is you do not have to let it slowly simmer for an hour or two, or maybe even more. This should be ready in 15 to 20 minutes and it'll be great every single time just follow the recipe if you want the full written recipe i have it all laid out in a beautiful page on my website so be sure to check that out if you're interested and that is the perfect manera right there there's nothing else you want to do here so i hope that this can be your sauce of choice moving forward so let me know what you guys think of the sauce if you made it in the comment section down below and if you are going to make it if you're thinking about it let me know what you're planning if you want more videos just like this and if you found this to be a little helpful go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon i'll see you guys again on the next one bye guys